It is election time. 20 seats are up for grabs on July 17 and their results will be more than just a referendum on the PTI's popularity or inflation's impact on PMLN's domination of Punjab. These seats will also decide the future of the government in Lahore and perhaps Islamabad. More is plaguing the vote than polarization, the economic crisis and Imran Khan's populist rhetoric, also troubling are the unlikely alliances it has forced upon parties, especially the PMLN. In many constituencies, the party's candidate is a traditional rival, which is why Noon is struggling, rather than just due to inflation. But while Khan blows hot, the PMLN enjoys the privilege of power. Residents and journalists report low load shedding in the by-election constituencies and the presence of trucks selling utility store items and development work. What else may be at work can be deduced from the PTI's allegations about the Nama Loom, unknown, X, Y, Z. The PTI seems to be riding a wave at the moment, though it has chosen electables for most elections. Few not triatis are in play. Its jalsas are impressive but doubts remains about the PTI's ability to get voters to the polling stations, especially as the other side is prepared to make the visit a difficult one. Here are some of the seats up for contest on July 17 chosen in no particular order and limited only by the word count. The PTI seems to be riding a wave at the moment, though it has chosen electables for most elections. In Lahore, four constituencies are at stake but if observers are to be believed, only PMLN's Assad Hakkar is said to be in a comfortable position to win. For campaign watchers, the other three are close races. The one that has generated the most interest is PP 158, the seat vacated by erstwhile Khan loyalist Aleem Khan. It is said he wanted the ticket for his confidant, Shoaib Siddiqui, but the PMLN preferred to award their own man, who had lost from here in 2018, Ranu Asan Shorafat. Aleem Khan has not been seen campaigning for the noon man amid room as he is miffed with the choice of candidate. The PTI has awarded the ticket to Mayan Mahmoud Rashid's son-in-law, Akram Usman. Journalists such as Habib Akram and Ajmal Jamie who have surveyed the constituency report increasing support for the PTI in the face of inflation. And this is why Ayaz Sadiq's cabinet resignation is being seen as a sign the PMLN camp is worried and wants its top guns to campaign in the area. In the other two constituencies, PP 167 and PP 170, PMLN ticket holders are former PTI dissidents, Nazir Chauhan and Amin Zulkarnain, and Chaudhry's brother. Both are said to be in trouble because of the PTI's popularity and PMLN Carter's unhappiness. Nazir Chauhan is said to have complained publicly about not getting support from the ruling party. Amin Zulkarnain faces Zahir Abbas Hokar, who has been elected MPA previously and comes from a politically influential family. Moving beyond Lahore, PP7 Rawal Pindi will witness a fight between Raja Sagir Ahmed and retired Colonel Shabir Awan. Raja Sagir won the 2018 election with around 44,000 votes as an independent and later joined the PTI, only to dissent. He is now contesting on a PMLN ticket. He is opposed by Wan, formerly PPP, who joined the PTI in 2013. He is the candidate in whose favor Zahirul Islam, former DGIC, was seen speaking in a video that did the rounds. PMLN stalwart Raja Zafarul Har is said to be not supporting the PMLN candidate because his son was the party candidate in 2018. In Shehupura PP 140, Mayan Khalid Mahmood is the PTI man who is now contesting on a noon ticket. He was a PMLQ member in the past. He faces Kuram Verk from PTI. Though this is a PMLN stronghold, PTI feels it has a chance because it's an urban area. There are also reports that local PMLN leaders are not favoring Khalid Mahmood. Another seat up for grabs is PP 97 Faisalabad. In 2018, Ajmal Chima had won as an independent candidate and then joined the PTI. He had been a PTI member but contested independently because the ticket went to someone else. He faces Ali Afzal Sahir PTI, who was runner-up in 2018 by around 5,000 votes. The PMLN candidate in 2018 came third, 
He had put up his papers this time around but was persuaded to withdraw in Chima's favor. The Tariq i Labayak Pakistan is also said to enjoy support here. In Jiang, two provincial seats are going to witness elections on July 17. In PP 125, which is mostly rural, Faisal Hayat Jabwana is contesting on a PMLN ticket and faces PTIs as Amkila. Faisal Hayat had won as an independent candidate in 2018, securing over 50,000 votes and then joined the PTI, only to turn dissident. Keela was the PTI candidate in 2018 too. Next door in 127, Mayor Aslam Parwana had won independently in 2018 and joined the PTI. He got the PMLN ticket for dissenting, and faces Mayor Nawaz Parwana, who was the PTI's candidate in 2018. The winning margin in 2018 was less than 1,000 votes. For this election, the peers of Siyal have announced their support for the PTI as has Sheikh Wakasakram. Inflation is said to be an issue in most rural seats because of the high price of diesel. In Lodran, two seats are up for grabs. In PP 228, Nazir Ahmed Balak, a PTI dissident is now the PMLN candidate. He is from an own local family and faces first-timer and PTI man, Izzat Javed Khan, who is seen as a weak candidate. However, Syed Rafid and Bukhari, who was the runner-up in 2018 on the PMLN ticket and lost by just 3,000 votes, is now contesting as an independent candidate. But the second complicating factor here is that the local electables group, led by Federal Minister Abdul Rahman Kanju, may be having second thoughts about Nazir Balak, who is aligned with Yahangir Kantarine. In addition, Siddiq Balak, also aligned with Kanju, he faced JKT in elections, is not supporting Nazir Balak. Next door in PP 224, interestingly, the 2018 candidates are facing each other but on different tickets. Zor War Hussein Warich, who was PTI is now on the PMLN ticket while Amir Iqbal Shah is PTI instead of PMLN. While Warich has been in politics since 2002, Amir Shah is from an old, established family and has defeated the Tareen family previously. The considerable Iran vote in the area is also said to be favoring Iqbal Shah's as the Kanju group. In Muzafaga PP 272, dissident PTI MNA Basit Bokhari's wife is contesting. Earlier, Basit Bokhari's mother was the dissident MPA from here. However, Basit Bokhari's brother is also contesting the election while the PTI has given its ticket to Sadar Muazzam Joy. While there are fears of family differences dividing the vote, Joe Oy is seen as a strong candidate, who is supported by the local PPP stalwart KM Joe Oy. Next door, the contest is less uncertain as the PMLN's Sibtain Shah is seen as a strong candidate compared to the PTI's Yasser Joe Oy but Imran Khan's large Jalsa in the area took people by surprise. Sunday promises to be a tense day for politics, in more ways than one. The writer is a journalist. Published in Dawn, July 14, 2022.